I finally did it. I, I finally figured it out. By the way, hi, my name's Keely. I'm a cuddle therapist and boundaries and consent educator. The reason why I loathe, detest, and despise all the articles that come out of like, make a quick buck, fastest side hustles, 30 fastest ways to add some extra cash. When they list professional cuddling as those, I figured out why I hate them. And it's this. I do not recommend, if anyone is curious about professional cuddling or getting into this work or cuddle therapy, I don't recommend getting this work if you're not in a somewhat stable financial position. You can, I'm not saying it's impossible, but here's why. I have to have the attitude and I do have the attitude and it's my job and my work is better for it of if I am not a thousand percent aligned with taking a client, I am not going to take them. I'm not going to be the right person for them anyway if I can't wholeheartedly be present with them. So I'm going to try to give them resources and get them to the place they need to go. And I am not going to take that client. It, I could be at their door. They might be prepaid. I step inside and something just feels a little bit off. I can't mm-hmm. place why. Mm-hmm. But even if that happens, I'm like, so sorry for your, wasting your time. I really appreciate your interest. Here's your refund. I'm going to go. Like, I have to, I, I don't, like, I've done things like that before. And I have to be so okay with turning anyone away and turning anyone down so that I am immaculately taking care of my safety and immaculately respecting and holding my boundaries. And I would imagine and it have experienced in my life how much harder it is to do that when I'm not financially stable. And like I said, you can do it. It's not impossible. Uh, many people do. I I did. But it is it is so much more so much more difficult and so much more dangerous if that's the place you're operating from because it is not as possible to turn away potential dangers or listen to your intuition in the same way if you are so financially dependent that like your next meal is coming from this next client. You're going to make way more compromises that I uh, that don't make you the best practitioner that you can be and don't make you a, the safest practitioner that you can be not just for yourself but for your clients too. And that's why those bother me so much because it's attracting, specifically targeting people who are susceptible to that. And I don't want those people to get hurt. I can't believe no one's talked about that before. I haven't heard anyone talk about that. And we should.